welcome to the network security algorithms today we'll be doing caesar cipher so this cipher is named after the king julius caesar so he used this particular cipher technique to send encrypted message so what are the properties of this caesar cipher the, this caesar cipher is a symmetric cipher now why it is a symmetric cipher because uh, when we have two entities A and B when these two entities when they are communicating with each other they need an algorithm and they need a key so symmetric in the sense that uh, if A is sending any message to B then A uses a key K suppose if K is the key so A uses the key K for encryption and the same key is used by B for decryption therefore it is symmetric now this algorithm is a mono alphabetic uh, cipher mono alphabetic because uh, there is a one to one relationship between the uh, be between the uh, plain text and the cipher text alphabets like suppose if we write instead of a if we write d so wherever a comes in our plain plain text then d for every a d will come for the cipher text so there is a one to one relationship therefore it is mono that we say it is mono alphabetic cipher in poly alphabetic cipher we what we see is uh, if for a somewhere it comes d and maybe it may come p it may come any other alphabet so this there is not a one to one but one to many relationship in poly alphabetic but in mono alphabetic we have one to one relationship so this is the caesar cipher and then uh, number 3 it is additive cipher now why it is additive cipher as we will see in case of caesar cipher that uh, uh, whatever plain text alphabet we have A now this A uh, if we write this next in alphabet B C so this A is displaced by three positions to D then B so after D E comes and after C F comes and so on so this is we actually we are what we are adding we are, we are we are displacing this by three places ahead so we are actually we are adding this number suppose if we denote this A by some number 0 and uh, all the alphabets like suppose a to a to z if we start uh, writing them in terms of numbers so a the number of a will be 1 b uh, a will be 0 b will be 1 c will be 2 d will be 3 and so on so instead of 0 we are we are adding this 3 okay so if sup suppose if we are denoting this a by a number 0 so we are adding actually 3 to it so 0 plus th 3 becomes 3 so that is d and so on okay so we go on adding so therefore this is an additive cipher now uh, yes uh, just a diagram is given here so if we have this alphabets a to here f after f of we continue up to z okay and it is starting from a so this a instead of a we have d instead of d we have e and so on instead of c we have f okay so suppose if we have a alphabet a plain text alphabet suppose so suppose if we have a plain text uh, alphabet as suppose bad b a d suppose we have b a d uh, we have plain text message suppose b a d so how to get the cipher text of this so this cipher text if we run to enter cipher text so wherever b comes we have to write e so this will become e so instead of b it will be write e and instead of a we write d okay so this is d and instead of d okay the alphabet is g so this is g so B A D is E D G and so on so we can write all the alphabets so this is how the Caesar cipher works now uh, how to implement it using Python uh, Professor Yasira will explain this thank you ok students so we will see the Python code for Caesar cipher technique uh, in this particular uh, program two very important functions we are going to use extensively that is the care and the order now students it is important to realize that the alphabets as we know them is stored uh, differently in the computer's memory now the computer will not understand our english language see i'm talking about this particular part okay so the computer will not understand uh, our normal english language alphabet or any other character by itself so these characters they are represented in the computer's memory using ascii code 
and you know uh, the upper case is represented uh, by uh, some other number and the lower case is represented by the other number. So, we have used here for the upper case this part and this else part we have used for the lower case. Now, see the for instance. A capital A is represented by the number 65, B by 66 and so on. So, can you see over here S minus 65 is basically used for that purpose and from here we have used 97. This is because lower case characters representation uh, begins with the number 97. So, you know it is very important to include these particular code. Now, the uh, function order the method order basically over here is to convert the character to its numeric representation. So, we are basically using the order uh, function for that purpose and the care this can you see care dot is upper and uh, this is for lower. So, suppose uh, you know if you want to encrypt the upper case. So, this particular module this particular part of the program will be traversed and if the uh, the text is the lower case. So, this particular part will be used. So, we are just going to run the code and we will just see. So, I will just enter over your uh, you know crazy programmer. Can you see? So, uh, we have written this text crazy programmer. Uh, to be encrypted you know then what we can do is the uh, the letters is re replaced in the text by another le uh, letter having fixed difference. So, you know as you can see over your students the difference basically used over here is 3 that is uh, we want we have used in this particular program shift by 3 then each letter of the text has been replaced by the letter that is positioned a second from the letter. So, basically you know uh, this particular python program is uh, using this technique to convert or to encrypt the data. So, we have used the formula uh, that is uh, C that formula c is equal to x minus n mod 26 has been a little modified and you know uh, has been used specifically for this upper character and this part has been used for the lower character. So, as you can see in the program we have added and subtracted 65 for upper case and over here 97 for lower case. So, in that mathematical formula because the ASCII value of a is 65 and of uh, lower case a is 97 and the other order method that is ORD this method is basically used to get the ASCII value of the letter. So, if you want to left shift instead of right then you will have to use a negative number we have used a positive number 3 because we want to uh, shift right. So, this was the code and from here this input method uh, in this particular program is taking the input from the user. So, Thank you everyone.